South Yorkshire back to the Premier League. Well, take a bow, Paul Heckingbottom and Sheffield United. To offer my congratulations to Burnley. I haven't had the chance to do that, but tonight belongs to Sheffield United. Absolutely, thoroughly deserved every conceivable way. And given the fans are down at Wembley to boot, don't forget that, because that's joyous to a football fan. But what a job, as I said in commentary, I remember exactly where they were when he took over from Slavisa Jakanovic. There was a lot of work to be done, and my word, haven't they got it done? Outstanding. Well, there have been springtime tears in the last few years, but look at Sheffield United now. Celebrating amongst their fans, and brilliant to see the fans staying in the stand and leaving the pitch to the players so they can enjoy this and celebrate with their supporters. Oh, it's outstanding, honestly, we had the turmoil of last year and we've seen Burnley twice be able to celebrate without interruption. Now we're seeing Sheffield United because the night belongs to the players. The fans will be able to join in these celebrations, but they'll be able to do it in the right way. Well done. Well, as this famous club sings their famous anthem, this will be some night out in Sheffield. The Premier League badges didn't gather too much dust for long because Sheffield United will wear those Premier League badges proudly in the top division next season. They are promoted. Well, quite simply, let the celebrations begin in Sheffield. A big wide smile on the face of Paul Heckingbottom, John Egan and Ollie McBurney. Very, very happy indeed. That flag really does say all. Oh, it's so simple, isn't it? Sheffield United promoted back to the Premier League. Every single player in this squad has played their part over the course of this season. We saw the heartbreak at the end of last season, losing in the playoffs to Nottingham Forest. This time, though, none of that drama, none of that heartache is coming their way at all. Jack Robinson, Paul Heckingbottom going over to the Blades faithful, who, as we keep saying, have stayed very respectfully in their seats and are celebrating along with their side. Joby McEnough, Jack O'Connell in here next to me. Jack, this is emotional, isn't it? Yeah, unbelievably proud of the lads, obviously everyone at the football club, the staff, the chefs, everybody, the fans, um, fully deserved. It's, I mean, what, what's going through his mind, Joby, there, Paul? It, you can sense he's just trying to make the most of what's going on to take it all in. We heard from him before the game, he was very calm and composed, it was a nervy first half, but they put it succinctly to bed, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely, and I've been so, so impressed with that calm nature that he has shown not just tonight, but certainly in the last few games where that tension has really ramped up. And it's not always easy when you know you've pretty much done it, but you've still got a little bit of work to do. And I thought we saw that in the first half. But again, no panic. I thought they came out in the second half were absolutely brilliant. That energy we spoke about, I thought from the fans, translated down onto the pitch and, and through the players and, and vice versa. There was a couple of runs, Bulldog was fantastic, just gets that crowd on their feet. And then once they got that first goal, that was the Sheffield United that we've seen for so much of this season and thoroughly, thoroughly deserving of that promotion. You can see the, the emotions on the face of the fans, both young and old. Look at the young chap in the middle there, enjoying every single minute of his night tonight. I'm sure it's going to be a very, very late night indeed. They absolutely did, Ollie McBurney. You boys did step up tonight to make sure you got yourselves over the line. Jack, you've been in, the, in this position. Can you put it into words at all what it means, how it feels to be automatically promoted? Not really, I think it's tough. At the minute, obviously, there's, there's loads of emotions, and um, I don't think it'll sink in yet. But the lads just need to enjoy it because it doesn't come around that often. And the key players, of course, we've seen John Fleck be so good in the blade shirt for such a long period of time. Illyman and Jai has stepped up this season. We just saw Sander Berger as well. It was him that got things going, wasn't it, Joby, today? Yeah, and in typical Illyman and Jai style, really, a fantastic reading of the situation, gets himself into the box, and then that calmness, that composure. You know, and then that bit of end product which we've seen with his goals and assists absolutely laid it on a plane. He really has been a joy to watch this season for us. Someone that every time Sheffield United is playing, I'm certainly one of the first to, to want to see what he brings to the party. And again, I think what he has done this year is really added those numbers to his fantastic individual performances. 
Sandberger spending time with his loved ones. I presume it is, if not, is in big trouble, isn't he? Celebrating in front of the cameras. No, of course, it's a wonderful moment, isn't it? Being able to share it with your nearest and dearest Jack. That must be the main thing because the sacrifices that go into something like this, it's not just about the players and about what they do in the building, it's about what the families bring to it as well, isn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, you can see them there celebrating with the families and they've been through it, the ups and downs, and, you know, like you said, um, all the sacrifices they have to make, but finally it's paid off. We just saw the owner as well, Prince Abdullah, walk down to pitch side here at Bramley. I mean, it changes the whole financial future of Sheffield United for the foreseeable, doesn't it, Joe? Yeah, absolutely huge on that front, clearly, with the, the proposed takeover that hasn't gone through and by all accounts it's not going to go through. And, you know, we know what that injection will bring in terms of maybe a bit of stability longer term. There's always that concern, certainly from some of the reports you hear. But this is what it's about. It's about the here, the now, tonight enjoying these moments and, and really celebrating it's a long long hard season this is and certainly these are the nights now where you always let that emotion out and you can see it pouring out the players now thinking of the managers that have taken sheffield united into the premier league neil warnock chris wilder they've always struck me as a set as a group of people jack that really know how to celebrate would that be fair <laughs> yeah 100 yeah i think sheffield is going to be bouncing tonight uh, but yeah doesn't forget that. And it's amazing, isn't it, Jeffy? Every single player here has played the part. We were speaking about Ollie McBurney. Played his part today in the game. Came to the club in the Premier League. Came out of the club uh, from the Premier League. Uh, came out of the Premier League with the club. Taking them back in. I mean, what's Paul Heggebottom saying to him there? Is it just a thank you to all the players, given everything that they've given this year? Yeah, it is. But I think his case in particular, because he was going for a real tough spell, you know, without goals you know out the team and his transformation has been absolutely huge particularly early on in the season I think he certainly has adopted that more of a leadership role now I think he's getting to that age 26 now and you know incidents in the past that certainly shown a lot more maturity on the pitch certainly this season and um, just a question where he can keep that going for tonight once the drinks start flowing but no he's been a huge contributor 